$50 for two pounds of jumbo lump? Where's the cheap stuff? You know, it's really easy to make your own deodorant. When it comes to money, there are those who save. Expired products? Are they free? There are those who are stingy. Making out like a bandit. And then there are cheapskates. He's going through my trash. Oh. Sort of like a cheapskate archaeological dig. Now, can you do any better on a price for me? America's cheapest man makes gifts from garbage. What kind of house guest would I be if I didn't bring a little gift? And meals out of scraps. I'm going to introduce the Wilsons to the cheapskate delicacy, the salmon carcass. It was repulsive. Welcome to the world of extreme cheapskates. Hi, I'm Jeff Yeager, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. Hey, good morning. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Happy Friday. Do you all have uh, uh, coconut oil? Yes. I stopped at a little store I've seen before, but what I was going to pick up some coconut oil there to make my deodorant with. I've always felt that Fridays are probably the best day to haggle, particularly if you're talking to a mom and pop kind of shop. You know, these are folks who want to close out the week with some healthy sales. They're more willing to bargain. Do you make your own deodorant? No. Have you ever heard of anybody that does? Well, I'm one of those guys, because I can save quite a bit of money doing it this way. $16.49. Try this one. It's a good brand. Now, can you do any better on a price for me? I think that's a pretty good price. People ask me a lot of times, how often do you actually get a discount on something? I don't know. I haven't measured it. Maybe 10% of the time, but I almost always try. What about a nice guy discount? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Jeff's haggling tactics were interesting. I try to economize it however I can. Maybe 50 cents. I think it's still really well priced, but I could give you 50 cents off. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's a very generous offer. Can you, but can you make it a dollar? A dollar, it's sold. Come on. My armpits will thank you. Yes, sold. <laughs> OK, thank you. great. I appreciate it. I don't think it hurts to ask for a discount. I gave him a, a, a discount of a dollar. Yeah, you really made my day by giving me a discount on that. He's pretty charming, so uh, it worked. Hey, expired products? Yep. Are they free? Yep. All of them? Help yourself. Ah, tomatoes? Making out like a bandit. $8.49. $8.49? Yep. Deal. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, are these sample free? Yes. Wow, this is great. Thanks. I've been living what I call the cheapskate lifestyle most of my adult life. Because I spend less, both my wife and I retired while we were in our 40s. I like to make my own deodorant, a way to save some money, and it's really all natural. The good thing about cornstarch is it naturally absorbs moisture, so it's keeping you dry. And baking soda is, of course, uh, great for eliminating odors. It's going to keep my pits dry for a long time. This is that coconut oil. Probably best just to get in there with your hand. Then I like to pack it inside a toilet paper tube. It's sort of like a push-up deodorant stick. Put it in the refrigerator overnight, it'll harden. You're getting probably three or four times the volume of deodorant that you get in a commercial deodorant. Once it's set up and hardened in the refrigerator, uh, you can use it. We save a lot of money at our house by making all of our home cleaning products. I just like to make out of water and baking soda a, clean, a simple cleaner. Use it for countertops, almost everything around the house. Vinegar, of course, mixed with a little water is great to clean your windows with. Nothing better than that. And here's a kick. The best toilet cleaner I know is actually just baking soda and vinegar mixed together. And it's kind of fun, too, because it's sort of a Mount Vesuvius effect. I'm guessing that we spend probably only 25% what a typical American family does on cleaning supplies. I hate to throw away water. I hate to just put it down the drain. You've invested all that money in heating it up. You may as well get some use out of it. Whenever you have boiling water, it's really deadly scalding onto plants of any type. So if you have weeds that you don't want in the backyard, just pour the boiling water on them, and that kills them overnight. Doing something as simple as pouring boiling water saves you a lot of money over the long run by not having to buy expensive uh, pesticides, too.
These are my favorite shorts. I got them for free. I stayed at a hotel, forgot my swim trunks, asked if they had anything and they're lost and found. The woman brought these out. They're just my size. She said, keep them, they're yours. My wife, of course, she's saying, well, think who probably wore those. I'm saying it's the same guy that slept in the bed that we're sleeping in this evening, honey. Absolutely free, my favorite shorts. They weren't staying like this at the time. I was surprised I was out in the yard with my computer that I could get the neighbor's Wi-Fi signal. So a light bulb came on. I'm thinking, why are we both paying for service if I can pick up their signal from here? Hey, you know, I was sitting out in my yard and I noticed that I could get your internet uh, signal over at my place. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Uh, you know, I was wondering, is there any chance you guys would be willing to maybe we'll split the bill and we'll just use your account? Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Well, when Jeff asked me about the Wi-Fi, my first thought is people getting on your email, people stealing your ID and stuff like that. I'm thinking, geez, if we let somebody else onto our net, you know, what's going to happen? Will you at least ask your husband about it? Um, I'll ask him, but you know, he's a Scotsman and he wants his own stuff and he doesn't like to share. And I would be very embarrassed to ask somebody to split something like that. But would you be able to see my email and where I, I'm going? I don't, I don't think so, but I mean, even if I could, I wouldn't look. You know. uh, I'm supposed to trust you on that? Jeff is a great guy and a wonderful neighbor, but sometimes he just goes a little bit too far. My husband, he really doesn't right. like that, and I'm not too sure I do either. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> thanks a lot. Okay. Have a good day. You know, I respect their decision uh, not to want to be a party with a cheapskate uh, uh, like me. Maybe they'll reconsider in the future. I travel a lot, but I rarely pay for a place to stay, and I travel on the cheap. Hello? Hi, uh, Stacy. Hi. Jeff Yeager. A great way to take a vacation that's sort of 95% free is to do something like ride your bicycle and couch surf with friends. Hey, I'm calling with a little favor to ask. I'm going to take a bike trip this weekend down towards your neck of the woods. Uh, any chance I can crash on the Wilson couch? You want to sleep on my couch? <laughs> Coming up. I offered to cook Stacy and her family a special dinner, but I have to find a way to do it on the cheap. What do you want for those? Four bucks. I must be in the high rent district. Where's the cheap stuff? You know, I love to travel. People always say, how can you afford it? Rather than stay at a hotel, I stay with people I know, I crash on their couch, and I would bet it saves me at least 50% off the total cost of travel. Hello? Hi, uh, Stacy. Hi. Jeff Yeager. Hi, Jeff, how are you? I originally met the Wilsons online. It's funny when you think about people, their big concern about meeting somebody online is for God's sake, they'll show up in real life. Can I stay with you guys? You wanna sleep on my couch? <laughs> It's just one night. Okay. Okay, and I, here's the deal. I'm gonna cook you guys a special dinner when I get down there. Who wouldn't want to have a guy like me sleep on their couch? Well, I'll see you soon. See you soon. Take care. Bye. What kind of house guest would I be if I didn't bring a little gift? Knowing the Wilson's kids, I thought they'd get a kick out of, instead of buying them something, I maybe made them something. So I went through some of my own trash and I found some interesting things. Martha Stewart, I ain't. I made Celeste, the daughter, a neat little purse out of a plastic milk jug. It's starting to look more like a purse. I'm liking what I see. Sort of in the same theme, I decided I'd make Isaac, the Wilson son, a nice little billfold out of old bicycle inner tubes, of which I have a lot of. I can't wait to see their faces when they open these presents. The great thing about the gifts I made for the Wilson family was that it didn't cost me a dime. I probably knocked out all the gifts in less than an hour total. The Wilsons live about 70 miles away, but I'll save on gas because I'm going to ride my bicycle there. Over the course of my lifetime, I've bicycled now almost 95,000 miles. People don't understand how much it costs to drive a car. It costs 50 cents to a dollar per mile to actually own a car and drive it down the road. So the Wilsons live 70 miles from where I do, so I saved at least $35 each way by bicycling. I offered to cook Stacy and her family a special dinner, but I have to find a way to do it on the cheap. I try in my own life to spend under a dollar a pound for the food I buy. What do you get for those crabs? The large female to 18, you can have $30. Uh, $20 a dozen? Yeah, mother. So what about these soft shells here? What do you want for those? Four bucks. 
I must be in the high rent district. $50 for two pounds of jumbo lump? Where, where's the cheap stuff? $7.45, I mean, it looks good, but $7.45 a pound, I mean, is it gold or what? Now these prices are starting to look better. $2.87 a pound, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Head down this way for something less expensive. What do you got, catfish for 99 okay. Holy smokes. Well, here's your fresh salmon. The carcass has just been filleted. Wow. Got That's the, a good one. Yeah, what do they go for? steaks and fillets. And what do they go for? They're going for like uh, $2 each. What if I buy everything you have here? Well, it's the like, head, You'll throw the heads in for heck free? Yeah, I'll throw it in. Well, can I do $3 on these total? You, you can do $3. Let's see what you're getting here. Oh, yeah. Three pounds, a little over three. I think, yeah, I think you've done real good. Close to 10 pounds of meat. Wow. For $3. You can't really can't beat it, can you? He's a smart shopper. He knew a fresh fish from just a typical daily fish. Salmon carcass, it's what's for dinner tonight. That's a beauty. Thanks Not, again for the great deal. Nice doing business with you. Stay cheap, brother, All right. stay cheap. No problem, enjoy it. Take care. I to introduce the Wilsons to the cheapskate delicacy, which is the salmon carcass. Hey, folks. Hi, Hi Jeff. Jeff. So where am I staying? Come on in, I'll show you. Right I hope you don't mind room. sleeping on the couch. No, that's what I was looking Oh, that's a beauty, too. There you go. Just my size. Well, we'll let you get settled. And... Feel free to make yourself at home. Get right. in there. Bathroom's over there. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, I better get that in the fridge. Sometimes people like the Wilsons think I'm a little weird, but what I found is that they let me teach them a little something about saving money. They don't adopt everything I do, but uh, they've certainly picked up some tips over the years. What you doing here? You don't mind, I'm making myself at home. You know, I have something special. I told you I would treat you to dinner. Well, I've got something special here. Oh my God. Salmon carcass. It's a terrific value. I bought them at the seafood market. I don't want to brag, but I only pay three oh, bucks. Wonderful. Oh. Salmon carcass. Fish. You know you Salmon carcass. Yeah, I got these at the seafood market, two for three dollars, and he threw in two free heads with them. You really can't beat it. And all the while they're selling salmon fillets, what came off of this for $7.99 a pound? I was like, what is that fish doing there? Isn't it gonna stink up the entire house? This was 10 pounds of meat for three dollars. I was glad that it wasn't something that he picked up off the side of the road on his way here. The dinner might be a little interesting. Coming up. Holy smoke. You want to look through the trash? Yeah. Amazing what your trash has to tell you. He's going through my trash. It was so great that my friends, the Wilsons, to put me up for the night. Jeff, what are you making? Oh. I'm going to repay that and introduce them to the cheapskate delicacy, which is the salmon carcass. It'll be delicious, trust me. Wonderful. Well, Get that look off your face. <laughs> okay, Jeff. We'll see you later. Great. <laughs> you want to help out? Um, sure. You help. Well, you, I'll, I'll, I'll clean the fish heads, but you, I mean, you could peel the potatoes, maybe? Okay. But I think what I'll do with these two is just bake them in the oven so we can have some fun picking them, uh, picking them apart. Sure. You don't, do you have any aluminum foil for that? Mm -hmm. I know you guys are frugal, but oh, I would always be saving that aluminum foil and reusing it. Well, you can bet we're gonna save this one after we cook those salmon cans. If nothing else, your cat will like it. So we're just making a stock out of those. I'm gonna try it, but I'm not sure what it's gonna taste like. When you start with a carcass, you really can't go wrong, you know what I mean? Trust me, this is gonna be good. Stacy, where do you keep your trash? It's right under the sink. This is your trash? That's my trash. Holy smokes. You mind if I have a look? You wanna look through the trash? Yeah. One of the things I like to do, I call it a trash can autopsy, is look through people's trash to see how they're spending and probably wasting money. It's sort of like a cheapskate archeological dig. He's going through my trash. Oh. Uh. Almost 25% of the food that Americans buy ends up in the garbage. Can you imagine that? That's the equivalent of one pound per person per day. These are cereal bags. These are great to reuse to wrap leftovers in and everything else. You can't buy that durable plastic bag. What about this? Onion bag. It's great to bring to the beach to put wet clothes okay. in yeah, 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 yeah. or the pool. That. Wrap them up like that and you got the ultimate kitchen pan scrubber. Uh, Try that. Try that. 
Now here we have a peach pit. Of course, you can carve these into a keychain, but the point I'd like to make is the peach pit is really good to rub the bottom of your feet with to remove calluses. Let me get this trash picked up. <laughs> By the way, I see some popcorn kernels there. You should really uh. pop it a little bit longer. I wasn't quite sure what he was going to find. I'm glad there wasn't anything in there too disgusting. I think we'll definitely think a little bit more in the future before we throw things out. A little overcooked. I hope they're hungry. That's a pretty dish. I would say I spent under $10 to make that meal for the Wilsons. Come and get it. It's chowder time. Is everybody going to eat what Jeff is making tonight? I doubt my son will eat it. He will probably not come anywhere near it. It's fish. It has a head. Looking at him, I don't think he's going to eat it. Coming up. Dig in. All right, thank you, Jeff. Not feeling well, Isaac? Let's do it. All I right. can't watch this. What's wrong, Isaac? I spent a pleasant night at the Wilson's house. I cooked them a couple of uh, salmon carcasses. Come and get it. It's chowder time. <laughs> Can I get the bowls there? Sure. Dish them up. Is that enough for you, sure. Celeste? Yeah. Okay. Isaac, big bowl. <laughs> I might try it, but if I don't like it, I'm spitting it out and it's going into the sink. You know, it's crazy and sad that fish has become so expensive because it's so healthy for you. And it used to be dirt cheap, sort of the cheap man's meat. Now it's very expensive. Dig in. <laughs> well, you can't stop laughing. Not feeling well, Isaac? <laughs> we can get into those heads now if you want. I know you can't wait any longer. Mm. I think the anticipation. And look at all that meat. There you go. Little, little treat, little treat for you. You know, the thing is with these carcasses that you have to remember, mm -hmm. is there's a lot of carcass. fat. Carcass, can you stop using the word carcass? <laughs> <laughs> what would you prefer, skeletons? <laughs> there's a piece of meat, see it right uh -huh, there? Uh -huh. You want that? Because they're so small, they're precious. It's just one of those cheapskate things is we can't bear to throw out even just a little smidgen of something. <laughs> you ready to go? All righty. Seems really awful with the fish heads. It's just gross. Let's do it. All I right. can't watch this. What's wrong, Isaac? I had to get up and leave because it was so awful. I didn't like it. Boy, we laid waste to that. That was great. Thanks. I better Thanks. go check on Isaac. <laughs> Personally, I did not like dinner at all. <laughs> just completely grossed me out. My son nearly puked. <laughs> oh, it was it was repulsive. <laughs> I really uh, wanted to give a little tokens of my appreciation. Let me get the whole Wilson family right on the, hey, the couch over. there. Oh, okay. A few little surprises. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> what gifts did you bring us now, I Jeff? brought a few gifts for you. I hope you like it. I made it myself. What is this? It's sort of a little oh, purse. A... Oh. <laughs> it's, made, and it's made out of a one yeah. gallon milk carton. Can okay. you believe it? Oh, wow. Oh. I might use it. My friends might question it. A little bit. Let's see, I've got something for you there, Isaac. Hopefully this will make up for the salmon soup. <laughs> Sorry about the wrapping. That's what I was talking about, repurposed yeah. oil. Save that. What? It's a wallet. It's a wallet, it's a wallet. made out of bicycle inner tubes. Oh, you know what? Oh, I figured, you know, there's nothing a cheapskate hates more than spending good money on some place <laughs> to keep your money. I'm not sure if I'd use it because it seems really weird rather than like a gift. And I do have a little something for you, Stacy and Tim. I made this myself out of an aluminum can. It's a little candle for the oh, nice. dining room table. Set the yeah. ambiance yeah. for, for dinner. <laughs> well, I think their initial reaction was this is sort of odd that it's made out of Jeff's trash. Well, thank you, Jeff. I'm sorry, we didn't get you anything. Oh, yeah. you got me the couch for that. You're sitting on my bed. OK. <laughs> and you know, God, I go to bed early. OK. Well, that's fine. Can we help you set up the bed No, here? no, I can get it. I got it. Thanks right. a lot. Okay. Well, good Sleep night. tight. <sighs> the Wilsons are 25 cents richer. This whole trip to the Wilsons, two days total, between travel, food, no cost for accommodation, I'd say it cost me 30 bucks. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. 
Thanks so much for having me. It's been a great time. Thanks for coming. Jeff, yeah, take care. Always Jeff. a pleasure. All right, thank you. I think it was a great experience having Jeff come and stay with us. He might do some really unusual things. I thought Jeff being here is pretty interesting. I'm probably not going to eat salmon ever again. I had a blast staying with the Wilsons. I kind of expected some of the weird things he brought out today, but some of the new things he showed us these last two days have been great. I like to think that whenever I show up on somebody's doorstep and they're kind enough to let me crash on their couch, that I can repay that by giving lessons in thrift and frugality that they don't previously have. So, I mean, I think suffice it to say, at least now they know how you can cook a salmon carcass.